a rap battle to see who's more woke. Now in this corner, we've got Fitty Sensitive. And over here, over here, we got my homie LGBT Q-Tip. All right, DJ, hit that track that's not available on Spotify because they don't pay the artists enough royalties. Uh, yeah. Nobody starts right away. Give me a sec. Nice man spread. Damn, kid. It's like you don't even care if a lady with a baby maybe wants to sit over there. Ooh, man, you just got schooled. And speaking of education, in this nation, 40% of poor kids won't make it to graduation. I could rattle off stats and facts, but I came here to change things like globalization, gentrification, food and body shaming. So listen when I'm telling you my research explanations. I'm like a pissed off parking cop the way I drop citations. Don't mean to condescend. You're all my sisters and my brothers. We're all related particles. I see no race or color. in there, but I'll uh, see if Mr. Fitty Sensitive can figure out where. Sounds like you study woke for dummies on Tumblr, but with real sensitivity, your delivery would be humbler. If you're clinically colorblind, that's fine, and you're excused, but to say we're all the same, just evade racist shoes. Check, check, check your privilege. In fact, you even rapping here is very sacrilegious. You never stop by the cops and you take that for granted. And in every summer movie, a white man saves the planet. You're welcome. So backtrack and unpack that big invisible backpack with an easy pass to the middle class with golf clubs and yoga man. You know you're about to lose, you're making up stuff in the panic. You're reaching when you're preaching so your beef is not organic. Meat is murder! Yoga's not just for white folks or even our creation, just another example of cultural appropriation. And why do you assume you know the troubles I've been through? If you think my life's a walk in the park, then I got news for you. It sounds frightening to be a white man, I sympathize, boo hoo. But for me, it's culturally impossible to be less woke than you. Uh, ooh, I'm not sure that's exactly true, but I guess I'll stay out of this and just let you do you. Your words are a procession of endless microaggressions, raising the world that picks some girls and celebrates oppression. You assume a lot about me, so I'll assume you're heteronormative. Let me fill you in on a few things that you might find informative. I identify as female, but I still dress like a man. I bet you wish you could hit rewind and rewrite your battle plan. Damn, I misgendered you. That was totally demeaning. I thought I was woke, but I must have just been dreaming. All right, fam, let's give a hand to these two who weren't afraid. To just putting their foot in their mouth or spitting something way off base. You don't always have to talk, but you should always stop to listen. And maybe don't throw a hissy the minute opinions are different. I won't declare a winner because you each had hits and misses. You both learned, so you both earned participation ribbons. I know it's called a battle, but it's not a competition because there's no gold medal in the oppression Olympics. I don't need any thanks, I just came here to get woke. Okay, so make sure to check out the Key of Awesome's channel. We'll link in the description box and check out all their awesome parodies. And we'll see you next time right here on Decoded. Bye! Can I keep this outfit? Yes. <laughs>